Hey gang, it's Chris. So, you may have noticed I haven't been posting a lot lately. I think the last one of these here talkie blogs that I did uh, that wasn't like an internet meme or something was back in June or July. And there's a few reasons for that, really. Uh, I mean, for one thing, it's summer and I have been on vacation a little bit. I also finished a novel recently and uh, invested a lot of my creative time and effort into polishing that up. But I also have to admit, I've had a lot of self-doubt recently about what I even have to say. There's just been so much horrible going on this summer. I mean, whether it's this thing in Ferguson with the execution of Michael Brown and the horrendous police abuse, or ISIS cutting off the heads of journalists in Iraq and Syria, or uh, Israel and Palestine, or just this stupid awful thing with this celebrity photo, whatever it is. I mean, I just can't even keep up with all the horrible. Leave a note in the comments if I forgot your uh, particular horrible. Now that's not to say that there aren't really interesting and important things that other people have to say about these issues, but as I'm watching all of this happen, I'm wondering what there is that I can say besides trying to amplify some of those messages that has any real value. I've also been giving some real thought to the value of even having opinions. We live in the 21st century and opinions are everywhere and everything and we're all expected to have an opinion and to voice an opinion on every little thing that happens in our world. And I mean, I like to think that this is a way for us as humans and as citizens and as voters and as thoughtful people to share thoughts and help each other grow and consider the world. But what actually seems to happen is we all formulate our little opinion based often on like what tribe we've associated ourselves with. And we make these opinions and then we sit on them. And no one's gonna change our minds, no matter what they say to us, no matter what facts they might bring to bear. And we're gonna defend that against all the people who have other opinions. When what we should be doing is listening to one another and trying to understand how another thoughtful, rational human being can look at the same situation we're looking at and see it a different way. Learning is something like eating or drinking that, that humans and the human brain are programmed to do every day. We have to constantly be shifting the way we understand the world, and the way that we reconcile reality with our belief of justice and morals and fairness and physics and biology, but we're just not doing that. Go read the comment section on any major website and see how people just plant the flag and take this intractable position that's just not gonna change no matter what the facts might be. Anyway, you can see this is something I've been struggling with. But I had a couple conversations recently uh, that I think showed where opinions can matter. Uh, a couple people who are close to me expressed this opinion that the world was becoming uh, a generally more violent and worse place. And I can totally understand where a person would get that impression. Uh, all this stuff is brought into our homes every day, so when we see these headlines about um, ISIS, and we see these headlines about the United States targeted drone killing program, and we see these headlines about um, Ferguson, and we see these headlines about, you know, I don't know, school shootings, um, I understand where this perception comes that the world is becoming more violent and more dangerous, but it's statistically not true. This was actually one of the big news stories at the end of 2013, if you missed it. Statistically, uh, fewer people died from violence in the world, on the planet Earth, than in any year in our recorded history. And I think from disease, although I'm gonna double check that one, the world is actually becoming a safer, better place. And I think a lot of that has to do with global culture getting smaller. As much as we're bickering and fighting and being intractable in our opinions, being able to actually see someone on the other side of the world tweeting and see their videos and see what life is like and, and, and hearing arguments from people who you may totally disagree with, I think does build some sense of empathy and it builds a shared morality. Now that's not of course to suggest that we don't have our problems or that we're going to agree about absolutely everything. There are still a lot of social ills left to be remedied. But I think that even when you look at something like Ferguson, the fact that there's this enormous mass of people who have a voice and who rise up to say, this is horrible and it shouldn't be happening in 2014, is actually a pretty significant change from even 15 or 20 years ago. And part of that, I think, is that technology makes having that voice possible. But as a result of that and feeding that, there is this um, international morality of making the world a better place, uh, decreasing world suck, if you will, that has become um, 
I was gonna say a defining feature. I don't know if I'd go that far, but certainly uh, a major element in life in 2014. So here's where I wrap up and where I fall on this question of having an opinion. I do think it's important. Um, I think it's important to be courteous and to listen to each other and to have empathy. But I do think it's important to make your opinion known and to share that with people who are close to you because even if they yell at you, even if they refuse to agree with you at that moment, I think the cumulative effect of hearing the opinions of other people does bring us all closer together. So I will just wrap that up by saying um, that I'm interested in hearing your opinion, especially if you strongly disagree with me. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and be an active participant in the comments and make your opinion known here. I'll try and be back sooner than two months, and in the meantime, uh, thank you for watching, thank you for thinking, and thank you for making your voice heard.